Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, bringing you guys Happy Friday deck profile for Friday as part of my daily upload schedule. Um, in case you've missed any of the videos from this past week, be sure to check them out on my channel, youtube.com slash AveryLR32. We've got gameplay commentary from yesterday, we've got um, deck dissection, we've got true insider, we've got the whole shebang. So in case you missed any of those videos, be sure to check out my channel. Um, for all of those videos, they will be right there for you, for your viewing pleasure. Anyways, so let's hop into this deck. So, a shout out to YGO Pro OTKs um, for making this OTK. He posts like a bunch of OTKs on his channel and FTKs, and it's pretty funny some of them that he posts. Like, he made a Cyber Dark Dragon OTK, um, Morphing Jar FTK, um, he posts an Armatile the Chaos Phantom OTK. Um, so, this is just one of the many others that he has on his channel. This is Dragon Master Knight OTK. Um, this reminds me of the, what is it called, the Dragon, I guess it was called Dragon Master Knight OTK video that Vexy posted on his channel like a long time ago. Uh, so it's definitely cool to see this deck back in action. And I like the fact that, you know, it uses all these old cards like Polymerization, it also uses the new Blue Eyes support, and it uses Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon and Dragon Master Knight, like come on. Who doesn't want a 5,000 beat stick or a 4,500 beat stick? Like, come on now. Everybody wants that. <laughs> so, let's hop right into this deck. I've been playing with this deck a lot, and it is so much fun. So, we have three Blue Eyes, two Prismas, two Manjus, two Goddess with the third eye, two Summoner Monk, three King of the Swamp, two Maxi, two Maiden with Eyes of Blue, and three Black Luster Soldier. No, you cannot drop this card on the field in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> so, don't ask how. Uh, for the spells, we have one E Emergency Call, three Polymerization, one Rota, three Trade In, one Dark Hole, three Dragon's Mirror, and two Silver Cry, and two Megamorph. And then for the traps, we have Triple Roll Decree. Typically, in OTK decks, you're mostly going to have Roll Decrees to shut down that big, heavy trap back row, um, which can also really shut down s stun decks and r other rogue decks as well, since they're going to be relying on their traps to get rid of your big ass beaters. Uh, so, just to, just to um, talk about why certain cards are being ran. Prisma, of course, um, you reveal Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon or Dragon Master Knight, and then you can send either Black Luster Soldier or Blue Eyes White Dragon, depending on what you reveal. Um, King of the Swamp, his effect is that he can be used as substitution for any one fusion material monster, as long as all the other ones are the, are the correct ones. Same thing with Goddess with the Third Eye, uh, except the only difference between King of the Swamp and Goddess is that you can pitch King of the Swamp from your hand to add a polymerization from your deck to your hand. And then, of course, we all know what polymerization does. That heart of the cards, insert clip of Yugi activating polymerization here. <laughs> um, and then, of course, we have Silver Scry because you can just go summon Prisma, reveal Ultimate Dragon, send a Blue Eyes, set a Silver Scry, and your opponent's just like, WTF, are you running with Blue Eyes, Ultimate Dragon? They go to summon something and like try and swing with a bunch of monsters, and you just go, no, Silver Scry play a big 3,000 beat stick. Yeah, bro, I went there. It's my own gateway to Dark World. <laughs> um, and then Megamorph, of course, is because you drop a Blue-Eyes Ultimate Dragon to activate Megamorph. He's going to be 9,000 attack. You play a Megamorph on a Dragon Master Knight. He's 10,000 attack, so right there already, that's an OTK. Um, Trade-in, your Blackluster Soldiers are level 8s, and your Blue-Eyes is a level 8s. You may think it's inconsistent, but it's really not. Uh, even if these trade-ins are dead in your hand, uh, or even if the Silver's Cry, or the Dragon's Mirror, any of these spells are really, uh, but most likely the trade-in, the Polymerization, Silver's Cry, or Dragon's Mirror is dead in your hand. You have Summoner Monk, you can just play Summoner Monk, pitch a dead spell, play the Prisma, reveal Ultimate Dragon or Dragon Master Knight to send either Blue Eyes or Black Luster Soldier. Main with Eyes of Blue, of course, is just really, really good. Um, just stopping an attack and playing a Blue Eyes right off the bat is super good. Uh, and then, like, even if you really, like, needed to play a Blue Eyes, you could just go Megamorph on the maid, on the, uh, the Maiden, and then drop a Blue Eyes. Um, and then for the extra deck, two Dragon Master Knight, uh, <laughs> the biggest, most badass card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, in my opinion, next to the Egyptian God cards, and, of course, the Seal of Warrior Kalkos. <laughs> Uh, he must be fusion summoned and can't be special summoned by other ways, and he gains 500 attack for each dragon type monster you control except him. So if he's the only card on your board, and you have four other dragons on the field, that's a potential of an extra 2,000 attack points. 
so that's 7,000 points. Plus, if your life points are lower than your opponent's, you activate Mega Morph. That's 14,000 attack points. <laughs> and then we have the uh, the two Ultimate Dragon, and as I call it, Asian Eyes Silver Dragon. Shout out to Asian Eyes White Dragon. Um, no, Azure Eyes Silver Dragon is really good, of course, because you're running the Blue Eyes. Whenever you're running something with Blue Eyes, you should be running at least one or two Asia Eyes. Um, and then we have Utopia, Queen Dragon to Jin. Uh, you're playing. You're most likely going to be playing dragons always, so Queen Dragon Jin really helps. Black Ship, uh, Zubaba General. Once per turn, you can detach a Steamy Turtle from him and equip one warrior type monster from your hand to this card. This card gains attack equal to the attack of the monster. Monsters equipped to this card with this effect. So he's already a 2000 beat stick, so he has the potentiality of becoming 1700. Oh, and I never did cover Manju. Manju is just so that you can be able to get Black Cluster Soldier to your hand uh, and then use like Polymerization to make an easy uh, Dragon Master Knight. And then back to the extra deck, Maze Stroke, Lava Bowl Chain. You can use this to dump your Blue Eyes or uh, put a Polymerization on top of your deck or, or a Dragon's Mirror on top of your deck, anything really. Uh, Digesto Emerald, uh to send your stuff back into the deck and get some free draws. Free draws are free. Abyss Dweller and, of course, Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy because it is Cowboy. We love dealing that 1,600 points of damage with this effect. So you guys, happy Friday. This is the deck profile. If you guys enjoyed, a like or favorite would be appreciated. As I said at the beginning of the video, be sure to check back on my channel, youtube.com slash aprilr32, in case you missed any of the videos from this week. Love to see your response on those, and as always, have a great weekend. Thank you for watching.